could you just share to me your initial reaction to uh, President Trump's proposed peace plan? <laughs> My initial reaction, I'm sorry. It's, just, it was such a, it's a farce. The whole thing is a farce. Trump's plan for Israel-Palestine has been widely condemned across the Arab world as one-sided. But they're not the only ones who reject it. In the United States, while right-wing Jewish groups have backed the proposal, others on the left have dismissed it. Middle East I spoke to three young Jewish American activists who oppose the plan to understand their views on the issue. What this peace plan does is gives Israel nearly everything they want and gives Palestinians the promise of potentially getting far less than what they want in the future. So the promise of getting some of what you want is how a negotiation begins. You come to the table and maybe you'll get what you want. Noah is an activist with the Jewish Voice for Peace, an organization advocating for human rights for the Israelis and the Palestinians. He believes that despite mainstream endorsement of the Trump plan, the overall Jewish American sentiment is changing when it comes to Israel-Palestine. Like many communities, uh, our community organizations are led by the 1% of our community with people who don't speak for uh, Jewish Americans in general. So while some of our community leaders might support this plan, I think most American Jews understand that it doesn't do anything for Palestinian human rights and it doesn't actually bring about a lasting peace in the region. Many organizations in the United States have come out in support of the plan, like the lobbying group APAC, the Republican Jewish Coalition, and others. For cartoonist Eli Valley, this is another sign of the growing divide he sees between Israel and American Jews. Uh, this apartheid deal, this apartheid promise, annexation promise, is another sign of the deepening divide between uh, Israel and Israel's ideology and American Jews. Uh, and the fact that it was introduced um, by Israel's criminal demagogue bigot and America's criminal demagogue bigot is kind of perfect. Eli, who often uses cartoons to express his views on the conflict, believes that U.S. President Donald Trump does not have the Jewish community's interest at heart. Uh, Trump is the most anti-Semitic American president since Richard Nixon. He has incited two domestic terror attacks on Jewish communities. Uh, this man is interested only in his evangelical base and far-right Jewish leaders. Uh, for this man to be pretending that he cares about uh, uh, Jewish life is, is preposterous. He is the embodiment of how you can be pro-Israel and anti-Semitic. And so our very deaths are an acceptable price to pay for Israeli apartheid. Among the organizations opposing the deal is the progressive anti-occupation Jewish group, if not now. Emily Mayer, the co-founder and political director of the group, believes that the issue doesn't start and end with the current U.S. administration. I think what's most missing from the discourse around this plan is the fact that it isn't only the Trump presidency that got us here. Um, what got us here was actually decades of um, failed American policy, in large part, um, that time and time again has given um, has weighted the peace process towards um, the Israeli government and against the Palestinian people. Um, you know, we've seen um, not only in the Trump era, but in the Obama era, um, a real um, holding back and restraint to put real consequences on the table for what has been a decades-long occupation that has robbed Palestinians of basic freedom and equality. But Emily still sees hope in the future, despite the uncertainty of the current moment. You know, every day I talk to young American Jews who um, have felt alienated not only from the organized American Jewish community, but from actually just identifying as Jewish because they feel ashamed of what is happening in our names. And I think what, I, what gives me hope every day is watching um, a process of personal transformation happen for hundreds if not thousands of young Jews when they see people like them standing up for equality, freedom, and dignity of all people who live in the region and actually seeing that as a moral Jewish imperative rather than in contradiction to a Jewish community that they were sold by the establishment.